بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الطلبة الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأهلا ومرحبا بكم في هذا المحور الرابع لمادة نظرية الآلات والذي بعنوان Acceleration Analysis We'll start by the first part As outcomes for this chapter So upon completion of this chapter Students will be able to determine the accelerations of links and points on a mechanisms Acceleration diagram for a link Consider two points A and B on a rigid body as shown in the figure below point A and point B Let the point B moves with respect to A with an angular velocity omega in radian per second and let alpha in radian per second square be the angular acceleration of the link AB Here we have special diagram and here we have acceleration diagram the acceleration of particle whose velocity changes both in magnitude and direction at any instant has the following two components first one is called the centripetal or radial component which is perpendicular to the velocity of the particle at the given instant it is a R B A here. Second, the tangential component, which is parallel to the velocity of the particle at a given instant. So A T, the tangential component A T B A, is a parallel is parallel to V B A. A R B A is equal to omega square multiplied by the length of link A B. So we know omega is equal to VBA divided by AB. Finally, ARB, the radial component, will be equal to VBA square divided by AB. This radial component of acceleration acts perpendicular to the velocity BA. So it acts parallel to the link AB. How about the tangential component? ATBA is equal to alpha which is the angular acceleration multiplied by the link length so it is equal to alpha multiplied by ab this tangential component of acceleration acts parallel to the velocity ab vba in other words it acts perpendicular to the link ab atba it is perpendicular to ab and it is parallel to vba